there's so much feedback about not being enough. You know, um, social media is really great because it gives us a really rich world of ideas and things coming back to us. But there's this self-reflective nature where like, oh, I'm not as good looking as that person. Or, man, I can't do that yoga pose like that person. And while I didn't make seven figures last year, my, my, my money's not you know, nearly as good. My success is not as good. And so I think this constant comparing puts us at a really great disadvantage. When you want to create something for yourself, you have to create it inside of yourself. It's not created in comparison to the world. So you may go out and say, look, I actually remember uh, when I first met my wife, I got a job as a school teacher at the time. I moved from Albuquerque, New Mexico to LA, and I got a job uh, and I made $32,000 a year. And I was so proud of myself. I was like, I am rolling in the dough. I, I can pay my bills every month, not just every other month. Yeah. And she laughed. She says, I pay my assistant the same amount you're making as a school teacher. But I said, <laughs> but I've never made that much money. So it feels great. And, um, you know, so if, if it's inside of yourself, you know, I, speaking of school teachers, I have a huge amount of respect for the profession and people do it. I know many school teachers that are still only making, you know, 50, 60,000 a year, but they live great lives. So that's living inside of yourself and living inside your dream, whatever that is. So don't look to other people is the very first thing. And then if it's your dream, if it's inside of you, just understand that the universe is going to give you everything you need to achieve that dream because it's yours. If it's somebody else's dream, you may not have that. So you see the the guy mm-hmm. in the Lamborghini and that that might be their dream, but it's not if it's not really meant for you, then it's going to be a hard thing to to go to. I was meant to to direct films. I was meant to lead future searches. I was meant to do these things. So when I said yes to the incremental steps, it showed up as like I can do this. I I this is inside of my gifts and my my purpose. And there's sometimes where I had to learn, sometimes where I had to make mistakes to learn. But um, as long as it's yours, like if you've got a baby, like you're going to make mistakes being a mom or a dad. But if it's when it's your child, you do extraordinary things for them. Well, that should be the same with your future. You should hold it like a child and protect it and nurture it and know you can do it. I love that. Yes. Yes. You'll feel that like light. You'll, you'll light up from inside if it's the right path. Yeah. And I want to say, if it doesn't, if these things don't happen for you, if you're listening to this, it's like, well, I've never felt that. I never had that happen before. It's okay. And like I said before, in order to have that thing happen, the first thing you've got to do is imagine. You've got to get into action. So your actions might be, hey, I think I'll meditate on that. I'll do some something that will, I'll start drawing. I'll do dream journaling. I'll do, there's so many things out there. I'll start taking actions that allow that dream to come forth. There's no place that you are in your life where you can't imagine a new future for yourself, even if you don't think you can do it or haven't ever done it. And so I think little steps to big steps, big steps to worldwide steps, I think is the path. 